friends on youtube uh welcome to miles on wheels uh this is eugene miles and uh you know i am back again working on my harley davidson ultra classics as you know guys working on harley's never ends so it's a kind of an endless project or an endless improvement so today i've decided to as you can see my bike is uh is classic so i've tried to bring it to the modern era by putting on a navigation so I just picked up a Zumo XT. I can't do review. I don't do reviews, but however, this is a quick video how I ran it. So I quick simple install, you know, bar mount. You know, you can mount this bar on uh, here. I had my phone hanging here, but apparently I either move it down or put it on the other side. I couldn't put this navigation on the other side because this there's no gap in here as you can see however there is a gap here where I can put it so I put it there it looks fine so I ran the wire back here I will zip tie down so it can stay hidden yeah, at least kind of I will zip tie to right there And then I brought in the back. My whole idea was to wire it here on a, a cigarette lighter. This is a cigarette lighter or oh, power port right there. But as I was going through them, uh, my uh, uh, bike, trying to figure out where I can get power other than here, other than there, see if I can find any power wire hanging around. I did find these these two wires right here these wires they are at, at, at a glance I thought they were high beams but apparently they are not because this bike come with a high beam already in here but some bike came with a, a separate high beam like a, a CVO of this era they had two different bulbs in the lighting system so I thought this was the kind of setup so what I did, I turn on the bike. So when I turn on the bike, I grabbed I grabbed my most expensive meter. And if you do it, don't forget to put it on uh, DC, AC, DC. So. I plugged my uh, so I plugged my reeds on there. So I took the ground, I put it on a, on a black, then I put the power to the positive. So when I do that, the back is on. As you can see, the lights are on. So when I do that, I am getting. Uh, right let me try to figure how to plug it in so when I plug it in uh oh nothing I was getting constant voltage here oh it's on hold so you don't want to put it on hold it's on hold over there right there so let's turn on for the hold now when I plug it in Right there, I got 12 volts. So when I turn on the high beam, turn on the high beam, those turns off. As you can see, my lights are still on. So I plug it in again. I still got 12 volts. So these two wires they do have constant power so this is where my navigation is going all right it's unfortunate i don't have plugs those little plugs goes in there so which means i'm gonna have to cut these at least 
I don't think I'll have any regrets because I don't use, they're not being used anyway. So I'll just cut this wire here and then put a join right there. Well, that was supposed to be a quick tip for how I'm just running it. This that's my preference. It's not a uh, it's not everybody's preference. Some people prefer running it through the battery, but I don't want to run it through the battery because I want a, I want a switching power. I don't want to have to just uh for me to turn off the navigation just take it off so i want if i put in a parking lot and then probably in the parking lot i'll have to take it off because people that's that thing is stealable it's just sitting over there so i want to i just wanted to have a switching power i don't want to have to have that thing running constantly anyhow that is uh what is i'm been uh, that's what i'm up to so owning a harley right <laughs> it don't matter how new it is you gotta keep adding stuff thanks for watching again my name is eugene miles and welcome to miles on wheels thank you please consider subscribe share oh stay blessed quick updates as you can see my garage is full of junk Sometimes these these are useless, but sometimes they're useful. So, as I was going through my uh, junk tools, that's what I would call them. I found these. I don't remember when I bought this set, but I just played a big role in my installation. So now. Instead of pressing my wires, guess what? I found a connector. The only thing I didn't have was clamp, so I had to bring in a money part to clamp it down. So, just for the update, so I'll just plug it in so I don't have to press any wires. Thank you. Yeah, the navigation got power. Stop me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground, but 